The handheld shear vein test method is a quick way to measure the approximate undrained shear strength of fine grain and saturated cohesive soil. The handheld shear vein test method can be used on any flat 2 inch diameter soil surface, in the field or in the lab, on the end of sample tubes, on the surface of block samples or excavations, or on the surface of other test specimens with rigid confinement. It's important to note a couple of considerations with the handheld shear vein method. The handheld shear vein provides fast, reliable estimates of shear strength of cohesive soils. It does not replace more accurate laboratory tests for shear strength. Heterogeneous soils or samples containing coarse materials may affect the accuracy of this device. For this demonstration, we are using the Gilson HM504A pocket shear vein set, which is comprised of a calibrated torque spring, a driver with knob that has an integral scale, and three different sized veins. In approximating the shear strength of cohesive soils, each vein has a unique multiplier that when multiplied against the indicated test value, gives us the approximate shear strength of the soil sample. The standard 1 inch vein has a multiplier of 1. The smaller 3 quarter inch vein, which is meant for stiffer soils, has a multiplier of 2.5. And the larger 1 and 7 8 inch vein, which is used for softer soils, has a multiplier of 0.2. The scale measures from 0 to 1 kilograms per centimeter squared. Before testing, be sure the handheld shear vein device is calibrated using a qualified torque wrench and using calibration specifications. Simply stated, the apparatus is pressed into the soil and the knob is rotated until the soil matrix fails. Maximum reading retained by the indicator needle on the scale is then multiplied by the factor associated with the vein used. After the soil sample is ready for testing, you first record the vein size and calibration factor on your test report. Now, rotate the indicator needle counterclockwise to zero. Next, press the device into the soil surface such that the axis is perpendicular to the soil sample. Continue pressing the device until the blades of the vein penetrate the soil. Be sure not to penetrate beyond the veins. Next, carefully grasp the device knob. Be sure not to grasp or touch the scale, indicator needle, or spring during this process. Now, while maintaining a constant finger pressure vertical load, rotate the device clockwise using a single smooth motion at a rate that causes a soil matrix failure within five to 10 seconds. After the soil matrix failure, record the value indicated on the scale to the nearest 0.01 kilograms per centimeter squared. Then calculate the strength value by multiplying the scale reading by the correction factor of the vein used and then record the corrected value in your test results. If possible, repeat the measurement on multiple untested locations of the soil sample. Make sure the measurements are far enough apart as to not to cause a premature soil failure of the new test. Record the corrected value from each test and the average of all tests in your report. For any questions about approximating the shear strength of cohesive soils by the handheld vein shear device, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.